Trust you find your starship satisfactory? I'll let you know after I've taken it for a spin. You are about to get that chance. There is much to be done. My interests must be protected and my enemies destroyed. Norman Carr's efforts to expose my spies and prove his Padawan's power to the Jedi Council must meet with systemic failure. You will exhaust yourself in this charge. ...and destroyed, but first you must secure my network by silencing my spies on Balmora and Nar Shaddaa. Why not simply recall your spies? Their disappearance would look suspicious and serve to confirm the Padawan's accusations. My spies must die. My contacts on Balmora and Nar Shaddaa will detail what must be done. Your tasks are paramount, Apprentice. Bring cruelty. Bring rage. Bring death. You've arrived on Balmora. Excellent. Your contact there is Lieutenant Malavai Quinn. I trust you'll find him most helpful. Where can I find this man? Quinn will meet you in his offices at Sobrick headquarters. We will speak again as soon as he has briefed you. My lord, welcome to Balmora. I hope you like bomb to pieces mud holes. Captain Rigel, Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps. When the Empire invades, we're the ones who seal the deal. Don't suppose you're aware of the situation here on Balmora? I've been briefed, but I could use more details. It's war, bloody and limitless. The Empire invaded Balmora in the last war, but we've been spinning our wheels in the mud ever since. Resistance fighters think they can drive the Empire off Balmora. We're here to prove them wrong. How do you expect to succeed where the Imperial Army has failed? We are the Army too. Other soldiers just don't have the capability to handle our kind of specialized missions. The Balmoran government in exile, backed by Minister of Defense Vol Arjun, is giving us fits, backing a strong faction of the Resistance. The Minister is safely off planet, but if we break his allies here, we break him. We break him, we break the Resistance. What about the rest of the Balmoran government in exile? Vol Arjun is the only one with military experience, and he's the most vocal. When we destroy his power base and wipe the floor with his whiskers, none of the others will have the backbone to oppose us. That's why we need to take everything out. Do we have the privilege of your support? I'll look into it when I can. My second-in-command, Lieutenant Davril, is in Sobrick, waiting to brief you on the Operation's first mission, if you decide you're in. He's got plans to blow the Balmoran resistance sky-high. I think you'll like them. I apologize, sir. It was the best I could do. If that's your best, you're useless to me. I can shoot you dead with a clear conscience. Is that what you want? No, sir. Then focus, Jillins. Dismissed. I apologize for the delay, my lord. Lieutenant Malavai Quinn, I'm to be your liaison here on Balmora. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And to you, my lord. Lord Barris will brief you personally, but I'm to acquaint you with the climate here on Balmora first. By all means, go ahead. Even though the Empire wrestled control of Balmora from the Republic during the war, we were never able to completely eradicate them. There is a rather sizable resistance movement. No one wants to admit it, 
but it's clear that the Republic is backing it. Maybe I'll have time to do something about that. Something tells me your presence here will leave an indelible impression on the state of things. And I look forward to it. I have a secure line to Lord Barris. I'll patch him through immediately. Ah, I see you have convened with my apprentice. Very good, Lieutenant. Leave us. Quinn owes his career to me, but we should keep the details of your mission between the two of us. We must act swiftly. Noman Kars Padawan has directed the Jedi's suspicions to my undercover spy there on Balmora. Do you recall this? Of course. I remember everything. Good. I'll get to the point. My spy is Commander Rylan of the Republic Resistance. He is the central contact for all my operatives in this sector. Unfortunately, Quinn is tracking an investigator that the Jedi have sent. That means we have to cover our tracks before you kill Rylon. Your first mandate is to destroy evidence that links Rylon to the sabotaging of Balmora's defense systems during the war. To do so, you must break into the satellite control tower. Quinn reports that the tower is a death trap of mechanical security. Are there any special requirements? Quinn has everything you'll need. I'll summon him back. Remember, he is not to know the reason for your mission. I'll be in touch. My lord, I've prepared what you need for your assault on the satellite control tower. In order to destroy the mainframe, you'll mount this charge to the base and activate it. Then contact me and I'll be able to detonate. My lord, I mark your progress and see that the charge is armed. I will detonate once you are a safe distance. But first, I have Darth Barris on hollow for you. I will retreat and leave the line secure for the two of you. Apprentice, we have one more potentially compromising thing to take care of before you can confront my spy, Commander Rylon. It involves invading a Republic keep to find a lowly ensign named Dermont. He is Ryland's son, and the commander confided his true identity to him. Ensign de Mott must be silenced permanently. Maybe the son can be trusted. I don't leave loose ends, and all indications are that Ryland's son is a very loose end. I'll signal Quinn to give you the details. Be swift. My lord. Ensign Dermot is being detained in the break of the Republic Crater Outpost, awaiting questioning by the mysterious agent Barris has me tracking. I will alert you if the investigator appears to be heading there. I assume you wish to get to Dermot before she does. You assume correctly, Lieutenant. Then I won't delay you any longer. Good luck on your mission, my lord. I'll be here if you need anything. Pipe down, Dermat. There's something going on outside. I'm trying to listen. Oh, come on, Six. Throw me a bone. Who's this agent that's coming to interrogate me? Uh, At least answer me that, will you? Fine, fine. Stay clamped. I don't care who it is, I ain't talking. Nobody's gonna get nothing out of me. Nothing! Hmm... Uh. What? <sighs> all right, all right, I ain't proud. I give. 
My dad's an Imperial agent. What did you say? Your dad is a what? Yes, please repeat that, Junior. Oh, oh, oh no. This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? Who are you? It's not a who. It's a what? It's a Sith. That's right. I'm Sith. Hmm. Like I couldn't tell you a bad news the moment I saw you. Take a look behind yourself, Sith. That's what two squads of the Republic's finest looks like. Order them to yield, or you're all dead. Surrender? You're surrounded. Come on, men. Let's send this Sith home in a body bag. Zix? Zix? Come on, talk to me, Zix. Get up, man. You'll be getting a second chance at life. I've never had a second chance before. The med lab's in the back building. The head doc kept a small supply of the drug in his footlocker. I'll, I'll wait right here. Like I have a choice. Let's see, and, and there was a time I almost shot myself in the foot. That was a close one. What else? Oh, you're back. I was just recalling my life, trying to remember the highlights since I'm about to have my memory wiped clean. I think I'm done. Not much to reflect on. So did you get the drug? I'm actually looking forward to starting over. Try not to screw up your new life. At least if I do. Hopefully it'll be in new and more exciting ways. Here goes nothing, I guess. Who are you? Who I am is inconsequential. Who are you? I... I have no idea who I am. Do, do you know? Can you tell me? Don't let anyone tell you who you are. Goodbye. Oh, so... Well, so long then. Thanks for stopping by. Let's be honest. Your success at the Satellite Control Station and Republic Crater Outpost has surprised me, my lord. I computed the likelihood of success as nearly negligible. In my assessment, however, I only considered the capabilities of a typical Sith. Clearly, you are not a typical Sith. I will adjust future calibrations to account for your unprecedented abilities. Don't let it happen again, Imperial. You'll find my learning curve to be exceptionally responsive. Lord Barris is pleased. He says it's time to zero in on your prime directive, and he awaits your contact. My barracks are yours. Activate the hollow communicator in the next room to speak with Lord Barris. The line is secure. Don't wander off. I'll be right here if needed, my lord. I hope you can see the smile on my face, apprentice. You are turning me into a true believer. That pleases me, Master. I'm sure you're impatient to complete your time on that little rock. With the satellite tower computer destroyed and Commander Rylon's son neutralized, my spy's tracks are covered. Now the only threat to Rylon ever being exposed is the man himself. It's time to end that threat. Permanently. Do I have a choice in the matter? I like that idleness makes you disagreeable. Just be sure to give Commander Rylon an honorable death. It's the least we can do. I've had him embedded within enemy ranks for decades. The extent of his contribution to the Empire's interests is unrivaled. The man is a hero. Pity he has to die. 
He has always known the risk. The Jedi Investigator must have no hard evidence that Rylon was killed to silence him. It must look like anything but a targeted execution. Annihilate everyone there. There won't be a heart left beating. See to that. I've summoned Lieutenant Quinn. He'll prepare you for your final task. Your final target is the Balmoran Arms Factory. The Resistance forces recently captured it and made it their headquarters. An incursion into the arms factory will be a monumental feat. I'm excited by the prospect of you laying waste to that place. A Sith craves adventure and excitement. This mission promises both, my lord. All right. The Republic Command Center is deep inside the arms factory, the most heavily protected installation on the planet. In order to reach Commander Rylorn, you will have to make your way past all of the factory's defenses, which are considerable. Give me a rundown on those defences. Unknown, my lord. But the Resistance will certainly have state-of-the-art security and attack droids. Stationed inside are an estimated 1,000 of the Republic's best-trained soldiers. Specifically, Rylon's elite squadron is responsible for some of the most precise, improbable Resistance victories on Balmora. They're legendary. They're practically dead. The Empire's cause here on Balmora will be greatly advanced once they're gone. One final thing. The investigator that the Jedi sent has been concentrating her activity around the arms factory. I have her under minute-by-minute -minute surveillance. If she becomes a problem, I'll contact you on your comlink. Sounds like a plan. I'm on top of it. I will be here to salute you when the Balmoran arms factory is a smoking husk, my lord. The factory is under attack. Headquarters has been breached and casualties are severe. Keep your wits, Captain. What do we know of the enemy? Target is carving a bloody path in this direction. Unconfirmed reports suggest it's Sith. Consider them confirmed. Commander, contact confirmed. The enemy is Sith. Repeat, the enemy is... I can see that, Captain. Shut up. Sith, I know why you're here. Be aware that these are the finest troops I've commanded in all my decades of duty. Am I supposed to turn tail and run now? My men and I would be disappointed if you did. Captain Elegant, engage at will and hold the line. I'm coming with reinforcements. Right on out. You're about to find out what we're made of. <sighs> I may die of boredom. We're not gonna let boredom steal our kill. At last, foes with a little backbone. You'll find there's nothing little about us. Men, attack! Us now. The commander. He should have been here by now. Your commander left you to die. No. He's safe. All that matters is he's safe. Please, enough of this. Commander, no! Run! Save yourself! Just put him out of his misery, Sith. Before I end his suffering, I want you to tell him the truth about you. Commander... What? I don't understand. I'm sorry, Captain Elgin. All these years I have been a loyal soldier of the Empire. No. I... can't believe... It's unfortunate they were on the wrong side. They were excellent soldiers and exceptional men. They died like dogs. It was difficult betraying them. You can't bleed with a man and not form a bond. Yet with their defeat, 
The Empire's cause is advanced. Today was inevitable. I knew Lord Barris would eventually have to eliminate me. But I'm proud to have been of service all this time. I'm honored to be the one to kill you. Before I embrace my end, there is one thing I must know. My son. He was the only thing in the world that was truly mine. And in love or weakness, I told him my secrets. I, I know you had to cover my tracks, but please tell me, did he face his fate well? His chin was held high, Commander. Then I can die with a smile. When they find my corpse, there must be evidence of a valiant fight. We must make this look convincing, Sith. So I will not hold back. I will fight you as though you are my mortal enemy. It will give me no pleasure to cut you down. Our duty is often difficult, friend. Tell Lord Barris it has been my great honor to serve him. My lord, I believe we've got trouble. I heard your entire conversation with Commander Rylorn. How could you hear my conversation? Have you been spying on me, Imperial? No, my lord, as I told you. I've been surveilling the Jedi Investigator. Apparently she bugged Rylorn's quarters, and as she listened in on your conversation, I heard what she heard. The Investigator knows everything, my lord. That is the worst possible news, Lieutenant. All is not lost, my lord. She was heading to her ship, but I had my men move in and cut her off from the Republic landing bay. I am systematically blocking her avenues of transmission and escape, herding that Republic scum to her only hope, the spaceport at Sobrik. How does she expect to survive an Imperial spaceport? My men report that she's wielding a lightsaber, my lord. This investigator is a Jedi Knight. Unless you stop her, she's more than capable of fighting her way through the spaceport and commandeering a ship. I'll be able to delay the Jedi long enough for you to engage, but I advise caution when facing her. Excellent. Today I kill a Jedi Knight. I will gather my remaining men and meet you at the spaceport. We will crush this Jedi. You're too late, Sith. I already transmitted the conversation between you and Commander Rylon to the Jedi Council. Noman Carr has his proof. Now Master Carr and his Padawan will track down and expose every Sith agent in the galaxy. I'll let you enjoy your delusions. Enjoyment is not part of the equation. I have purity of purpose. I seek neither thrills nor satisfaction. Unlike you, I am calm. You know nothing about me. I know that by the shortcuts you have taken, your strength is thin. The dark side shall fail you, Sith. Save yourself, surrender, and the Jedi Council will give you every opportunity to discover redemption. I offer you the chance to surrender and live, Jedi. Surrender is not possible. I am in the right. I won't kill you, Sith, but I am leaving. So, I'm going to have to incapacitate you. Your victory means nothing. The damage has been done. The proof has been transmitted. So deal the death blow, Sith. I am at peace. 
knowing that the greater good has been served. I hate to burst your bubble, Jedi. No, that's a lie. I'm reveling in it. I intercepted your transmission. The Jedi know nothing. You just earned your pay, Lieutenant. I'm only doing my job, my lord. I had her monitored and screened the entire time. There was never any risk at all. Gloat all you like. It means nothing. I remain at peace. And Noman Carr and his Padawan will still defeat you. Tell me the name of Noman Carr's Padawan. I will never betray her identity. I am resigned. Strike me down. I offer no further resistance. You are subdued. There's no sense in destroying you. I will take the Wounded Jedi into custody, my lord. Your lightsaber, if you will, Jedi. Men, escort her to her new home in the main prison. I'm sure you know what you're doing, my lord. But sparing the Jedi is a curious choice. A Jedi investigator will be a wealth of information. Of course, my lord. What matters is the threat has been averted. Lord Barris will be anxious to learn what became of this. When you're ready, I'll contact him from my office. The old man can wait. Of course, my lord. Take your time. I'm not seeking to impose. I'll be waiting in my barracks. Place, Lord Barris. I leave that for your apprentice to convey. Then step aside, Lieutenant. My apprentice has arrived. Nice of you to join us. Quinn refuses to update me, insisting the privilege be yours. I assume the Jedi Investigator has been stopped. She is no longer a concern, Master. That is a relief. I had hoped to avoid confronting the Jedi. But our hand was forced. What matters most is that Rylon can no longer be exposed. And how would you assess Lieutenant Quinn's contribution? He did his part. Lieutenant, my apprentice's demeanor notwithstanding, I have been impressed with your efforts. You have more than made up what is owed to me. I'm putting you up for a captaincy and transmitting an executive order allowing you to station wherever you choose. You are dismissed. Thank you, Lord Barris. If my actions benefit the Empire, they benefit me. I would have done the same regardless of our past. My Lord, before I depart, it's been my extreme honor to serve you. You are the epitome of everything the Empire stands for. Thank you for noticing, Quinn. Until we meet again, I salute you, my lord. He will have his hands full. There are powerful Imperials dedicated to keeping him down. But if Quinn can overcome them and rise to the station he deserves, there is great hope for our Imperial allies. If given the opportunity, he will excel. By the way, it's not worth worrying about. Quinn's affairs are a speck compared to what we face. Your presence on Balmora is no longer needed. Return to your ship when you're ready to leave. I'll contact you there. My lord, I hope you don't find my appearance here obtrusive. I beg an audience. Begging does not become an officer. Pardon my word choice, my lord. I will speak plainly. As you know, Lord Barris enabled my reassignment anywhere I choose. It is an evolution I've longed for and assumed would never come. Aiding your mission on this planet has reawakened the ambition I began my career with to make the most profound impact possible for the Empire. Welcome back to life, Quinn. That is how it feels, my lord. I cannot think of a more glorious and honorable way to make a difference in the galaxy than to serve you. I'm here to pledge myself to you. I'm ready and willing to serve in whatever capacity you see fit. 
What exactly can you do, Captain? Who cares what he can do? I could use some help around here. I'm considering it, Vet. My lord, if given the chance, I know I will prove myself to you. I'm a top-notch pilot, military strategist, and a deadly shot. I can fly this ship, plan your battles, assess your enemies, and kill them. You won't find a more tireless and loyal subject. I offer my military prowess and dedicate every ounce of my strength to your cause. I would be pleased to have you, Quinn. The pleasure will be mine. Thank you, my lord. I will submit my reassignment papers as we depart.